Hi everyone, my name is Matt Hall, and today I'd like to teach you vertical shuffle stacks or vertical place-ons. This video is part of the IJA tutorial series made possible through our generous donors on Patreon. As always, I want to give credit where credit is due. This technique, an intermediate or advanced technique, was first really popularized in 2014 by Jin Suzuki of Japan, a great cigar boxer in his own right. His video called Three Boxes Juggling, which you can find on YouTube and the link will be at the end of this video, is worth watching. He really explores and develops the technique to all its logical possibilities. I'm going to show you some of those variations today, as well as how to do the original technique. As I mentioned previously, this is an intermediate or advanced technique. It assumes that you can do several basic fundamental box techniques, which I'll demonstrate now as a warm up so we can get to the real learning. Now that we're all warmed up, I want to move to the true fundamental scaffolding exercise for this technique. It's a two box exercise in which I'm going to practice doing as smoothly as I can, placing both two boxes together, shoving them up in the air, releasing the bottom left hand in this case, riding it up with my right hand, maintaining connection and pressure, and then riding it back down to be caught again by the left hand, like so. Again. I can also do it on the other side. I connect, push up, and down. Ride it up and down. Keep connection and catch. For the aesthetic of this trick to work, you really want to keep them as aligned as possible vertically. If it shoves out a little bit, it will be harder to control the boxes, harder to catch them, and harder to get a good clean look. To do the basic technique, I start with a middle box flip outward towards my left hand. I go to the two box exercise we just completed, catch the spinning box, and land on it. The thing to note here is that that outside spinning box, I want to catch it as vertically as possible to make it easier to catch the other two boxes on top of it. You notice I catch it here a little off vertical, but I still make the catch. For the symmetrical version, I'm going to start with my right hand on top and do a middle box spin back towards the right hand instead of out to the left. For the opposite version, I'm going to do a middle box spin out to the left hand, catch with the left, and land on the left. The key point here, once again, is to do the middle box spin in the opposite direction of the previous technique. And as always, try and catch that spinning box in a vertical position, which allows you to make an easier transition to the final catch. This time, place your left hand box on top of the right hand box to prepare for the two hand shower throw. Catch the shower throw and land the trick. The key point here is to make that shower throw as straight up and down as possible for the aesthetic to work and to make for an easier catch and landing. My left hand is doing a lot of work in this technique. First, it places the box on top. I make a shower throw, but this time the shower throw is a spinning shower throw. The left hand makes an underhand throw as well and also makes the catch. Let's watch the underhand throw part again. So once again, placement, spinning shower throw, left hand underhand throw, which catches the spinning shower throw, then it has to catch again to make the final technique work.
Same exact start, but this time when I make the spinning shower throw, I'm going to actually exchange the boxes, catching the top box and letting the bottom box be the shower throw. The underneath the arm throw is the same and the catch is the same. I can't stress how important those two box fundamental technique exercises are because so much is happening here that you really don't want to think about the final vertical shuffle stack placement, which is the last thing you'll see right here. It has to be unconscious and without looking at the boxes. For this technique, we're going backwards, actually, back to a regular middle box spin and a regular place on and a regular shower throw. But this time, I'm going to do a long end shuffle stack and make a shower throw from that position and then make the catch. Once again, the first two steps are the same as before. Regular middle box spin, place on, regular shower throw, and then the long end shuffle stack. I'm cheating a little bit by holding the boxes diagonally instead of vertically. The nice thing is that long end position allows you to make a smooth vertical shower throw. Techniques six and seven are very similar. I start the same, and when I go to that shuffle stack throw, I catch the left box and shove it under the shuffle stack box to push it up into the air. After which I'm gonna make a regular shower throw again, and then catch. The key here is after I make that long end shuffle stack, the shower throw there is a bit smaller and a bit shorter so that I can get underneath the shuffle stack boxes quicker. And then from there on, the technique is the same. Technique eight is tough because I'm making one change to the long end shuffle stack and then I'm doing an edge end flip into position of the long end shuffle stack before I push up and over. This is a tough, tough technique and it deserves its own two box exercise as well. I would recommend putting the two boxes against each other slightly off edge and then flipping the one box into the long end shuffle stack position like so. And after that, push vertically, make the shower stack throw with the long end, and then complete with the basic technique. For this final variation, we're going to borrow a skill from Kendama, the fast hand movement. After I do my fundamental base two box vertical shuffle stack, I go into a fast hand, after which I throw the boxes up in a box switch, similar to technique five, and then catch again with, once again, the basic vertical shuffle stack. Catching the two boxes from the high to the low position is tricky, but I'm doing it just to get me set up for the box switch throw and the underarm throw. And then once again, you gotta finish with that two box vertical shuffle stack.